Today's video will cover 10 things to know about ArcGIS Enterprise 10.6. 10.6 is the newest release of the product, available in January 2018. Included in this release are quality updates, a refreshed user interface, and new features and functionality for mapping and analysis. Keep in mind this list is not exhaustive to each new feature in the product, but it does cover a few key items. Let's get started with the list of 10. Clustering makes it easier to visually extract meaningful information from your data at different scales by grouping point features that are within a certain distance of one another into one symbol. Let's take a look at an example with a point layer of green roofs. So to configure clustering, I select Options and Clustering. And I can toggle between Less and More. And here I can also toggle clustering on and off. I can see how many features there are in a cluster. And I can also use arcade expressions to customize the display of my pop-ups. For instance, showing that there are a certain number of green roofs in this cluster. Now I can better visualize large amounts of point data on my map. New to 10.6 is the App Launcher, a convenient way to bookmark apps for easy reference within your portal, allowing users to quickly access apps that are relevant and frequently used. Administrators can configure which apps appear in the App Launcher, as well as customize the icon and label of the selected apps. When accessing apps added to the App Launcher, users will not be prompted with a Request for Permissions dialog. You'll notice the interface for groups and content has been refreshed in 10.6 to add to the user experience when navigating the Enterprise Portal. Users can tab to different group categories as shown here, and they can use filters to find groups quickly and easily. Tabs are also available in content, as well as filters. For groups and content, users can search directly in the filter or they can search overall. Printing maps and layouts is now more powerful in ArcGIS Enterprise 10.6. One of the new features in the print service is support for vector tile layers. Each individual layer is maintained as a separate layer in the high-resolution PDF output. Other capabilities are improved as well for smart mapping and color transparency. You'll notice enhanced Unicode support and improvements to the way legends are displayed on a layout. As of 10.6, users will now be able to publish custom geoprocessing services as web tools in their enterprise portal. From the Map Viewer, users will be able to browse to, open, and execute published web tools in the Analysis pane. Two new privileges are now available in the portal. Publish server-based layers and publish web tools. So here I'll create a custom role with a web tool privilege based on a publisher role. Now users with this role will now be able to publish geoprocessing services and the corresponding web tool without requiring full administrator access. New at 10.6, users participating in enterprise-to-enterprise -enterprise collaborations can now share feature layers as copies, creating a new hosted feature layer in the recipient's enterprise portal. Also new in collaboration is a content delete policy, which provides options for what happens to items both sent and received by an organization after a collaboration or workspace is deleted. In order to provide insight into the sync status of collaborated items, administrators can now monitor immediate and scheduled syncs in order to anticipate when items will next be available for participants and for troubleshooting. Users can now create hosted feature layer views in their enterprise portal. Views are helpful to see a subset of the layer and apply different settings such as pop-ups and styles. Note that views in ArcGIS Enterprise are not feature equivalent to ArcGIS Online. Let's say I wanted to create a view that only includes green roofs over 10,000 square feet and navigate to view on the source layer. I can set a title for the view and an optional summary. So after doing so, I can tab to visualization to configure my filter for green roofs over 10,000 square feet. So here I'll apply the filter. And I can set custom symbology just for the view. And I will save my layer. So looking back at the item detail page, I can see that the item is a view and that it was created from the green roof source layer. So next I'll open the view in the map viewer just to visualize it. 
and I can compare it to the source layer to see the difference between symbology and the data that is shown. So here you can see the symbology for the source layer has been retained as well as for the view. Ten six brings in improved performance for many service management operations, from publishing new services to starting and stopping existing services. Users will be able to benefit from these improved response times. Optimized performance is available for all new sites as well as upgraded sites that contain a single cluster. 10.6 includes new capabilities for scene viewer, namely new point style options, the relative to scene elevation mode, callouts, improved perspective, and set declutter options. Each of these options allow for point data and therefore your map story to be visualized and interpreted more effectively in scenes. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you're able to take advantage of some of the new features in ArcGIS Enterprise 10.6 soon.